Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ben here and today I got a really special video for you. I'm going to be breaking down Mr. Ty Lopez's Here in My Garage video. The 67 million viewed video which probably spammed you this time last year non-stop on YouTube. Um, it basically took him from uh, not many people knowing him to like YouTube famous overnight and now he has like millions of viewers and uh, he's doing all right for himself. So what I'm going to do is basically reverse engineer what he's doing in the video for you and break down everything step by step. So that way you can create your own video and maybe it'll be better than his and hopefully you can get really rich too. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we are. So this is Mr. Ty Lopez. Um, as you can see, he has a million views for each one of his 67 steps. <laughs> so a million views per step, so it's pretty cool. Now, I kind of have an inside scoop on kind of the thought process that he made when he made this video here in my garage. I'm going to play it for you in a second and break it down. But first I want to give you the overall kind of framework and then break apart the specific things that you can add to your videos. So... Uh, I have this page open here, the story brand. Oop, you know, a little landing page pop up. This is actually a pretty good idea right here. Anyway, um, now with this guy's story brand, the way he the the way he describes story brand, like story brand is all about how to clarify your message so people engage more. As you can see, now um, there's basically a few parts to a story. You have your <coughs> The first part is your character, your character who wants something. Um, the second part is a problem that they run into, and the problem is either an ex external problem, which could be anything, whatever. There's <laughs> just just watch a mo any movie, you'll find this is like this problem is usually the hook in movies. Um, <clears throat> And that problem also has an internal problem, which is the emotional pain that you feel from that problem. So, and then the character will usually have a guide. If you think of Star Wars, it's Yoda. Um, if you think of, um, my God, like Rocky, it's the, the boxing, is <laughs> the old man, the guy who dies. Mickey, I think his name was. Um, and then from the guide, he gives a call to action with usually three steps. If you can clarify your message to three steps, that will make it super powerful for people because people really can't think much more than in terms of threes. There's something magical about threes. And then you have um, the resolution. And the resolution could be either positive or negative. So with that in mind, <clears throat> with this video, Ty Lopez's video, you're going to get the very first part is the hook. So this is something that uh, it's usually the way you want to think about it is a hook or a pattern interrupt, they call them. It's usually like something incongruous. So let's just play this video. I'll show you an example. Here in my garage. Here in my garage. This, uh, new Lamborghini. Boom. It's also, okay, yeah. The best framework I can think of describing this is from a book I just read called uh, Flip Gnosis, The Art of Split-Second Persuasion by Kevin Dutton. And he breaks apart f uh, the five pieces of persuasion that uh, he, he kind of like studied con men and master per persuaders and stuff. And the five pieces are simplicity, incongruity, uh, confidence, perceived self-interest, and empathy. So, boom, here my garage just bought this new Lamborghini. Uh, that's perceived self, self interest because you got to think of Ty Lopez's target market. They're like 24 to 34 year old men. Here, it's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Boom. In fact, I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get in. Okay, so part A is the hook. Now you can go from the hook directly to your storyline. 
and in the storyline you're going to see it's going to be specific you'll see as he, he explains how it wasn't too long ago um he was living in a trailer in north carolina so it's a specific place he had 47 dollars in his bank account that's a specific number and uh a good storyline has kind of like a rags to riches storyline it's a good great storyline all the whole 2000 new books that i bought <clears throat> it's like the billionaire warren buffett says the more you learn the more you earn this is a now maybe you've seen thrown in billionaire warren buffett it's like an authority kind of trigger i guess my tedx talk where i talk about how i read a book maybe you've seen my tedx talk like all this stuff is just building up the authority in your in your head a day you know, I read a book a day not to show off. It's, again, about the knowledge. In a book a day, once again, it's like an incongruous thing. People don't, it's usually before this video came out, they don't associate books with Lamborghinis. In fact, the real reason I keep this Lamborghini here is that it's a reminder, a reminder that dreams are still possible because it wasn't that long ago that I was in a little... T okay, see, his transition to the middle part, so the storyline. Town across the country, sleeping on a couch in a mobile home with only $47 in my bank account. $47. I didn't have a college degree. I had no opportunities. But you know what? Something happened. This, this whole Rags Riches story, it's even emphasized more because he didn't have a college degree or opportunities. But you're going to see he's going to mention his guide, the guide that the story brand guy talks about. Happened that changed my life. I bumped into a mentor. Boom, guide. And another mentor and a few more mentors. I found five mentors. Five mentors. And they showed me what they did to become multimillionaires. They gave me a yeah, call to action. It's about money. It's about the good life. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. Mm -hmm. And so I record, record a little video. It's actually on my website. You can click here. And then this is the call to action. So go click here to see what my mentors told me. Um, so your call to action. Say you're a dentist. Uh, maybe your video is... It could be like a before and after video of one of your patients, how they were bullied and teased their whole life. And then when they found, uh, well, let's just say, let's start with the hook. Say you're a dentist, your hook could be, uh, this is a way to improve your confidence forever and have a better life. And uh, then boom, story. This girl was uh, bullied and teased her whole life until she ran into this dentist here who has been practicing dentistry for 15 years. And has worked on over 10,000 patients and uh, fixing their teeth and their smiles. And if you want to learn more, go click this link here and you can fill out a quick survey or something. On this video, and it'll take you to my website where I share three things. That <laughs> and remember, three things. This is the part of the story brand. When you give a call to action, I always give three tips. That they taught me. Three things that you can implement today, no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. Okay, now this part is addressing skepticism. So this isn't a get rich quick scheme. So this is what this isn't. This is always something good to have in your copy. What what this is not. So this is not a quick get rich quick scheme. This isn't a scam. This isn't yada yada yada. And then the next part is who is this for? You'll see that he says who is this for? Well, I'll just play it. You know, like they say, if things sound too good to be true, they are too good to, to be, be true. true. I'm not promising you that tomorrow. You're going to be able to go out and buy a Lamborghini. But what I am telling you is it can happen faster than you think if you know the proven steps. And now this the resolution is painting a picture of the bright future. So this, your future could be, it could happen faster than you think. You can just imagine, like, imagine this awesome future. So I record a little two-minute video on my website. Uh, like I said, now it's not the most professional. I just shot it here with my iPhone, but it's real. Nobody can argue. This is my true story. And I'm going to give you the three most important things you can do today. So click the link. Go there. It's completely free. Call to action. It's just a couple minutes. Invest in yourself. Always be curious. Don't be a cynic. <laughs> okay? People see videos like this and they say, oh, that's not real. That's for somebody else. Don't listen. Don't listen. Be an optimist. Boom. Like Conrad Hilton, the man who started Hilton Hotel, he said that when he was 15 years old, he read a book by Helen Keller. And that book changed his life. Books can change your life. And in that book, 
Helen Keller said, opt in. <laughs> Back to the books. So if you're a cynic, if you're a pessimist, you don't need to click here. Don't. Okay, see, if you're a cynic or a pessimist, don't click here. This is who it's not for, cynics and pessimists. Pretty broad audience. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to talk to everybody. But if you're somebody who knows that there's something better because the dream is possible. You know? <laughs> see, and then back again to talking about the future. The, the bright future, possible, like the possibility of a brighter future. Watching it's not necessarily a Lamborghini. Maybe it's a new job, a new opportunity, starting your own company. Maybe it's a new lifestyle without so much stress, traveling the world, doing those things that you know you're destined to do. You can't do those unless you understand finances. Money, I don't call it money anymore. Uh, I wouldn't include something weird like this, this freedom unit thing, but <laughs> I'm not really sure what this is about. I call it fuel units. You must have fuel units. fuel units to live out your dream and to live out your destiny. So I'll see you on my website. It's a quick video and uh, you'll see there absolutely free. So just click this video and you'll be taken there in a second. And uh, I'm excited to share this amazing stuff. You'll see, not because of anything of me, but because I've been fortunate of, enough to learn from mentors many years ahead of me. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> so again, what some, some takeaways you can take away are, he gave about three to four call to actions. At the end, he said, okay, just click on this my website. You'll be taken to this free video. It's about two minutes long. And um, it's three steps that I learned that will change your life today. Uh, it's absolutely free. Just go ahead and click on the video now. So what he's doing there, it's classic direct marketing is you want to give your reader, you want to give them explicit, clear directions because people like, uh, let's just say you have a website, but you don't have a buy now button. You have to tell people to buy now. Um, I don't know. It's just people are weird like that. Um, and you have People want to know exactly what will happen when they click through to whatever you want them to do. Um, so anyway, to just recap this video, you, the broad overview is your hook, your story, then your call to action. Uh, within those things, your hook could be something incongruous, so something you wouldn't assume, like if you think of a Lamborghini, you don't immediately think of books until after you watch this video. Um, and then within your story, it's specific, uh, specific elements, sp specific characters. Um, he didn't. Have, he only had himself and his and his mentors, which he didn't name. But the more specific you can add in your story, the more interesting it's going to be. Um, and then the call to action. Uh, with well, within the call to action, you have your objecting. Uh, sorry, your answering objections, and then basically. Who is this for? Who is this not for? And then more call to actions and then painting the brighter future for them. And, or on the opposite side, showing them what will happen if you don't do this. So that's what he didn't really do in this video, but uh, hopefully you learned something. And yeah, I, uh, I'll talk to you next time. Okay, ciao.